today I have another rebuild episode for you. And this time I'm just gonna uh edit it and stuff. I'm not gonna stream it just because streaming it was such a wear and tear. Like it was two hours long. Nobody's honestly gonna watch that. But it was pretty entertaining, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into these uh settings. Uh pretty much everything's still gonna be the same. Salary cap, just gonna leave that is. Uh, I'm gonna leave the injury zone, but the one thing I did want to uh, oh, I can't just turn down the energy. I mean, the uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn down the injuries because, like, honestly, when and I could have won my last uh franchise with the 76ers, the only thing that was honestly holding me back was the simple fact that my players kept getting injured, you know what I mean. But yeah, now that we got that player progression, we're leaving everything at 50, putting it on Hall of Fame. And uh, yeah, we got that. And we did a 76ers rebuild. We we played two seasons, made the playoffs the first one with, with the number one seed, and we got eliminated in the second round. And then in our second season, we didn't even make the playoffs. So if you guys want to see a third season for that, uh, for that, uh, for that franchise just let me know and i'll definitely get some content out there for you guys but right now we're going to our next team which shouldn't be a very hard rebuild it's just the books but yeah let's go ahead and get into this bad boy and we're going to use the 2020 draft class with Lamelo ball and anthony edwards and all those good people so uh let's go ahead and do that now and uh after we do that we're going to simulate a few games and i'm going to get back with you guys so uh Oh, but before we do that, let's just go ahead and take a look at the roster that we have right now. We have Eric Bledsoe, of course, Wesley Matthews at the shooting guard position, Chris Middleton, and the man, the myth, the legend, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And, uh, yeah, he, he's somebody that, you know, we're definitely going to play around. Uh, Brooke Lopez as well, playing coming in at center. And as the sixth man, we got Dante DiVincio. Sorry if I said his name wrong. DaVinci's the Vincenzo. I don't I don't know how to say it. And then Pat Connington. And then we got Ursan Ilya Sova. George Hill. Robin Lopez. Marvin Williams. And you know, Sterling Brown. And then DJ Wilson is somebody that I really like to play. Like I like to play with him uh like in form like past two K games. But I don't know. For some reason like he like kinda like fell off this season. And then we got Theonis. We got that. I'm pretty sure I said in his name, Theonis Antetokounmpo. We got Cal Coover. You know that pure sharp. <laughs> he can shoot that thing. Cameron Riddle, Reynolds, Frank Mason, and uh, yeah, that's our lineup, guys. We're gonna try to get him, and uh, we're gonna try to get those two more involved a little bit. But as long as, as far as I'm concerned, I got the books winning the whole championship in the first season which I wouldn't be surprised they do it on multiple seasons uh, that I play in but uh yeah with that being said guys I'm gonna simulate a few games I probably simulate it to like Christmas day around December and just to update you guys on what's going on but yeah see you guys there alright guys it's not quite December yet but honestly I'm not gonna lie the Lakers offered me this trade and I was stunned I was like wow Cal Kuzma and Danny Green for Cal Coover and Eric Bledsoe. I personally feel like this is a trade that I simply cannot pass up on. I know, I mean, and it's realistic too, because the Lakers were actually considering trading uh, Cal Cal Kuzma just because he's not fitting the system that they're in right now, and I totally understand. But oh man, this is a tough decision because uh. I actually like Kyle Kuzma. I feel like he's a talented young man, and I feel like with the right group of like crop of talent, he will be great. And uh, and I feel like the Lakers really do, are looking for like a solid point guard. And hey, don't get me wrong, no disrespect to my boy Cal, uh, Alex Caruso. <laughs> Alex, Car Alex Caruso, that's the goat. I mean, the bald eagle himself. And that will that would put us short at a point guard position. Not gonna lie. But I'm on. I'm gonna probably uh, like around December and Decemberish. I'm gonna probably trade Ersan Ilyasova and Marvin Williams just see if I can get some younger talent. But yeah, I feel like this. I feel like this trade right here. I feel like this is the move. So we're gonna do that real quick. And uh, bam. 
Um, before I start back simulating, I did uh, do a few adjustments to the lineup. And this is our starting lineup. We have George Hill, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and I moved him from a power forward to a small forward, and that actually upgraded him to a 99 overall. So I feel like that definitely helped us out a lot. And Kyle Kuzma, he's uh, our starting power forward at the moment. And then we still got Brooke Lopez at our center. And then coming off the bench, we got Dante at the point guard. Danny Green at the shooting guard. I feel like that's definitely going to help us out with, you know, shooting wise and with the with the schemes that we're running on offense. And the uh, I'm giving Theonis off to Takumbo a, uh, a little bit of more minutes just because I just like the guy. And same with DJ Wilson. And then we got Robin Lopez uh, as our uh, backup center, basically, you know, behind his brother. And uh. We got Wesley Matthews with some cheap, you know, with some cheap minutes, just in, you know, just to get him involved. And then uh, I'm gonna probably trade these two guys. Honestly, I'm gonna trade them later on this in the season. I might trade them sooner, but I'm definitely gonna document that, guys. I'm gonna uh, show you guys. Hopefully, we can get a, a something really good in, in return, like uh, uh, maybe another backup small forward, just so I can uh, have some more depth. Honestly. But I do like what we got going on right here. I think it's nice. But um, yeah. Now let's let me really start back simulating. <laughs> so I see you guys. Wow. That's just we get terrible luck. Honestly, we were going on a huge winning streak. Let me just have the CPO. Uh, the CPU is just like look, bro. We were going on a huge winning streak. And we just got that terrible news that Giannis Antetokounmpo is injured. So that's that's definitely going to suck. He's going to be out for six to eight weeks. So he will be back before All-Star weekend. But unfortunately, with that injury being said, I mean, he probably won't be a team captain. Which, honestly, it sucks. That sucks so bad, bro. Like, come on, it's on 30, I <laughs> like, oh my goodness, but let's just uh, continue the simulation. Alright guys, so now that uh, we've simulated a few games, the, our current record is 24-8, and eight, as you can see at the bottom right, beside my team chemistry, we are 24-8, and eight, but as you guys seen earlier, unfortunately, we got a... Uh, it's not a major injury, but, I mean, dang, it's an injury that is definitely going to set us back in the long run. Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to be out for six to eight weeks. So, uh, we're going to see uh, what we can get out of these two guys right here. And then right now, the first trade that has been offered to us is for Thaddeus Young and Cristiano Felicio. And this trade right here is something that I honestly wouldn't mind because Patrick Be Beverly defense is... Uh, and like unstoppable, and then Reggie Jackson is a pretty solid point guard. And I can definitely see him with a uh, in a in a Milwaukee Buck uniform. I'm sorry with my dang voice. It's crazy. Tyus Jones and Gorgie Dang wouldn't be bad. Miles Leonard and uh, Kelly Olynyk, Cody Zeller and Cody Martin. Cody's Kent Bazemer, <laughs> Kent Bazemer, and Yogi Ferrell. Uh, oh no, that's a tough one. And uh, Reggie Bullock and Bobby Portis, JJ Redick, that'd be a nice requirement. John Henson or John Henson and Langston Galloway. We actually used to have John Henson, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a nice one. I like this one a lot. Trey Lyles is pretty talented, and uh, Rudy Gaze. I mean, he's getting on, on up there, but. And our last trade offer is Josh Okogi, uh, 76 overall, 21-year-old small forward. And that's probably something that, I mean, we could definitely utilize. I do like Josh Okogi a lot. But I don't know. I feel like this trade right here is definitely the way to go, honestly. And just in case we don't like Reggie Jackson's uh, productivity, we can, we can go ahead and get rid of him next season because he does have one year left on his contract. And Patrick Beverly, I mean, we're kind of pretty much stuck with him. But, I mean, I feel like not even coming off the bench, He, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to work out really good in the, in the long run. But I don't know. Honestly, I'm nervous. 
This might I I know this is gonna be stupid, but let me just see if I can get a second round pick. Yeah, yeah, no. I don't know. Nah, I'm just gonna go with what we got. This is fine by me. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. They're gonna give me Landry Samet? Oh no. Uh this would definitely help us out a lot with the age. Ah. Uh, Screw it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I mean, what do we have to lose besides, you know, the for, the, se the season? <laughs> I mean, Giannis is already hurt. So, I mean, we really have nothing else to lose. Got Patrick Beverly, Danny Green, Chris Middleton, Kyle Kuzma, Brooke Lopez, Reggie Jackson coming off the bench. And we got Dante, uh, Landry Shamit. I feel like he's going to be nice. I wonder if, he, uh, if I can move him to, like, small forward or something like that I probably can't because he's on I mean yeah he his secondary position is small forward so we're probably going to see about moving him to the small forward position and so yeah that I feel like that was nice he's he's out I forgot for how long does it say uh let me look yeah he's out for he got left knee tendinitis and he's going to be out for six to nine uh, six to eight weeks so that's going to hurt a lot but uh I guess I'll just simulate until he's not injured anymore. So, uh, see you guys later. Before I start simulating again, I don't know why I always do this. But this is the current startup that we have without Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I feel like, honestly, this is the best possible lineup available. Like, with, with the options that we have. We got Patrick Beverly, Danny Green, Chris Middleton, Kyle Kuzma, Brooke Lopez. And then on the bench, we got Reggie Jackson, Dante, Landry Shamit. DJ Wilson and Robin Lopez. I feel like honestly, this was uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid, solid lineup if I say so myself. We got the veterans like Danny Green and Patrick Beverly, and also you know Lopez. And I mean we got the young guys like Kyle Kuzma, How old is Middleton. He's 28. He's not super young, but I mean he's still there. And then we got you know the young guys like Dante and Shamit. And, uh, you know, DJ Wilson, you know, we're just trying to develop him as much as possible. I actually got him uh, mentored, being mentored by uh, by um, Brooke Lopez and see if they had to help him develop a little more. But, yeah, guys, now let me start simulating the season now. I apologize, guys. So, guys, we are we're near the All-Star uh, weekend, but today we are at the All-Star draft. But, unfortunately, I mean, Giannis is still hurt, so I don't know how he still managed to get uh, All-Star team captain. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. And uh, he's probably going to be the only All-Star from the Milwaukee Bucks that's in here. But uh, let's go ahead and start this draft. All right, LeBron has picked Kevin Durant as his team, or as with his first pick. And, uh... As a team captain for the Milwaukee Bucks, we're going to go with Anthony Davis. I feel like that's the move. Him or Steph. But the only reason why I don't want to choose AD or why I'm so hesitant is because, you know, I want to keep it cool. You know, I mean, I'm trying to keep it realistic. You know, LeBron, I don't know why he didn't pick Anthony Davis for his first pick because, you know, that's who he picked in real life. But that's his loss. We're going to go ahead and pick. Uh, Anthony Davis and he chose and James Harden okay and uh, we're gonna go with Stephen Curry because I mean why not have a guard you know we're gonna pick Chris Middleton with the last pick uh, let's just go ahead and get him right now <laughs> so we got actually Chris Middleton in the all-star game he kind of surprised me not gonna lie and so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get Ben Simmons we can somewhat move him to a small forward and we got another pick for our bench we're gonna uh probably go on with Damian Lillard because, I mean, I feel like he's a monster and he's super underrated. So, we're going to go with Damon Lillard for, with our first pick off the bench. Chris Paul. Yeah, I figured that. Oh, my God. Luka is up here. We're going to go with Luka hands down. I didn't even see him. He got DeMar DeRozan. I low-key want to get Trey Young, but I want to get Joel Embiid in, at the same time. But I know if I get Joel Embiid, he's going to get Trey Young. And I know if I get Trey Young, he's going to get Joel Embiid. So... We're just going to get Trey Young. Indeed. Oh, wow. We got Cal Lowry. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get Joel Embiid. 
And uh, he really surprised me with that one. I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of centers in this draft, though, because, I mean, Jesus Christ, I don't see why he – I see why he did, why he passed up on him now. I mean, there's literally no more guards for the rest of the thing. Uh, we're going to go defensive and go with uh, Rudy Gobert. No disrespect to Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, the man's a monster. But I feel like Rudy Gobert is the way because he is uh, – I figured he would pick him. And then with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and... I really want to get Chris Stapp, so hopefully he's still on the board after I made this pick. We're going to go with Bam Adebayo. Watch him go with Chris Stapp. Oh, he got Andre Drummond. And so that leaves us with our last pick, going to Chris Stapp's Przingis. And they get Nikola Vucevic. Now, honestly, looking at this, I feel like I have this thing won. I mean, I feel like I have the better team. Honestly, I don't know where Kawhi is, though. He might, He may be injured, uh, but I don't even know. Or Kyrie at that fact. But honestly, I feel like I have the better team all around if I'm being like if I'm being one hundred percent honest. I mean, this is a, a center heavy draft, I'm not gonna lie. We have I think we have a, a total of one, two, three, four. We got like three or, or we got four us uh, hang on, yeah, yeah. We got like five centers. <laughs> and uh LeBron has he has three. He has three centers. But I feel like, I mean, I just feel like we got the better team, honestly. But, yeah, so I'll see you guys at All-Star Weekend. All right, guys. And uh, as you guys can see on the screen, Giannis Antetokounmpo is fully healthy. He is fully healed. And uh, he's back. Uh, he's We're going to put him back in the starting lineup with all that being said. And let's go ahead and get this adjustment going. Giannis Antetokounmpo back into the starting lineup. This is the starting lineup. And we got Patrick Beverly, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo on limited minutes. We got him only with 30 minutes right now. But as the uh, as he plays a couple of more games just to get his groove back, we're going to increase his minutes for sure. And then we got Kyle Kuzma at the power forward. Brooke Lopez still at the center. Reggie Jackson, Dante, Danny Green, DJ Wilson, and Robin Lopez. Then we got Landry Shamit. He's got some cheap minutes off the bench just because I did feel kind of bad because I was like, oh, man, I don't really have a spot for him. You know what I mean? But uh, we de like as in the future, we're definitely going to get him more involved. He's only 25, I think. 22, actually. Wow. So, yeah, we got plenty of time to get him into the – to the. I mean, not technically plenty of time because, I mean, we're only doing two seasons on this episode. But, I mean – like if it like if we were doing more than one season, he 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 will have we will have plenty of time to get him more involved because I think Danny Green is getting a little older, and so like maybe even next season we'll put him into that bench role or that you know what I'm saying that role player role, but yeah. With that being said, that is our lineup with Gianna's back. So this is probably the best possible lineup that we can have because uh, I don't plan on making any more trades because I like the trades that we've made so far. And so with that being said. Let's uh, get into this All-Star Weekend festivities. As we come into the All-Star Weekend, we did, and uh, so far, our record is 40-14. and 14. It's not bad, honestly, especially with Giannis being out for a little bit. I mean, we really held our own, and we uh, I feel like the moves that we've made are really good. And by the way, I forgot to uh, let you guys know, but we did end up playing the Lakers, and we beat them. We literally blew them out. So with that being said, I honestly feel like we won that Kyle Kuzma, Eric Bledsoe trade. Well, let's just look at the stats. Giannis had 15 points. I mean, oh, wow, 15. 100, I mean, dang, 100. He had 56 points, 14 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks, and 1 steal. That's not bad at all. You know, Chris Middleton had 22 points and 14 assists. That's amazing. Uh, Brooke Lopez, 17 and 5. Cal Kuzma, 13, 5, and 3. And then, you know, those are those stats. This is before we traded George Hill, by the way, because I think we did end up trading him. We traded him for... Yeah, we get that was for the Landry Shamans and the what's you call it trade. I forgot we made that trade. And uh, let's see, LeBron had 26, seven rebounds and six assists. That's that's just probably what you expect from a goat. <laughs> Anthony Davis had 19 points, eight assists, I mean, eight rebounds, one assist, and one steal and two blocks. Kentavious Cardwell Pope, 11 points, four rebounds and two assists. And you see Eric Bledsoe, nine points and seven assists. So in my personal opinion, and I think they were the home team. We might have been home. I'm not even sure. But Chris Middleton had a better performance than Eric Bledsoe. I just personally feel that way. And I feel like we won the trade. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. But, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure we no yeah we were away too we were at their uh, stadium so they had the advantage but yeah let's go ahead and get into these all-star festivities let's just see if we got anybody oh we got Chris Middleton participating in the three-point contest for us let's see how he represents and we have nobody in the a dunk contest for us unfortunately hang on let me take this phone call All right, guys, I'm back. And so, I'm sorry for that inconvenience. But, yeah, let's get into the All-Star game. Unfortunately, Chris Middleton didn't come through in the three-point contest for us. But it's okay, because hopefully he'll come through for us in the All-Star game. And uh, right now, we're currently up on Team LeBron. Uh, not by much, though. It's still neck and neck. In real life, Team LeBron actually did win. And I, I, I wanted Team LeBron to win. I mean, I was surprised it was even close. Because in real life, Giannis drafted a terrible team. Not even going to lie. And But, yeah, as we come down to the wire, we actually, we're leading. We're doing really good. But uh, as I say that, uh, they start to tie this bad boy up, which is not what we want to see. And, um, yeah, we're actually doing relatively well against Team LeBron. I figured we would. I mean, I just feel like I personally drafted a better team than Team LeBron. And it seems to me like... Oh, gosh, it's close. Like, we going to get the win. And so, Team Giannis, a.k.a. Team J-Bird, won or beat Team LeBron 150 to 137. Let's look, check out the box score. Anthony Davis won all, the Kobe Bryant All-Star MVP. He had 25 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 blocks. you love to see it. Luka Doncic had 24 points, and that's coming off the bench, ladies and gentlemen. Cause you know he uh he was um I picked him as a bench player. He had 24 points, seven rebounds, and eight assists. You'd love to see. I don't know. I don't know who they gave the uh, the like the MVP award to. The, uh, probably Anthony Davis because it was in his hometown. I mean it's only right. But Luka Doncic had himself a uh, a pretty good All Star game. I'm not even gonna lie. For his first time being in it, that was pretty good. And Steph Curry had 22 points and 8 assists. Ben Simmons had 18 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 5 steals. Wow, we literally performed very well. Giannis even played, uh, he played decent. I mean, he, I understand he is coming off that injury, so that's, you under, you kind of expect that. I mean, he had 14 points, 13 rebounds, and 8 assists. He almost had a triple-double, and he even had 2 blocks, so go along with that. So, you, I mean, that's not really something that I'm disappointed in. Uh... But yeah, that was that was really good. That was a good all-star game. Let's check out Team LeBron's stats. Uh LeBron had twenty nine points and eleven assists. He he gave it him his all. You see he always tries his best in the all-star game. Uh, James Harden had twenty four points. Uh Brady Blue had sixteen. Kevin Durant had fifteen points. His first pick uh only had fifteen points. <laughs> you hate to see it. But Nikola Joshis had a, nearly a triple double. And uh yeah. But, yeah, I, that was a good all-star game. It was very close. And, uh, yes. So, and with that being said, I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but James Harden did win the three-point contest, and Derrick Jones Jr. won the slam dunk contest. And so, yeah, guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys at the end of the season because uh, from here on out, I will be doing no more trades or anything like that. We're going to just simulate it out and see how it goes. So, see you guys soon. And so, guys, uh, as we wind down to the end of the season, we did finish the season quite strong. We only lost uh, five, about about nine times, <laughs> nine times out of the last games. And we do finish the record, uh, let's see, 
59 and 23, which isn't bad at all. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, he, even with the injury, like even being out with the injury for that brief moment, he wins the MVP award. Rookie of the year goes to Ja Morant, which is, well, I feel like he deserved it. And then sixth man of the year, Joseph Nurkic. And uh, defensive player of the year goes to Andre Drummond. Drum, Drummond. I don't know how I about to say Drummond, <laughs> but it's uh, Andre Drummond. And then uh, most improved was Bruce Brown for for the Detroit Pistons, I'm assuming. That's what team he plays for. And then coach of the year, Mike Budenholzer for the Milwaukee Bucks. And we are the first in not only our division, not only our conference, but in the whole entire NBA. And so that's a... Uh, I feel like you that's well-deserved. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into these all-NBA teams. Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Giannis Antetokounmpo making that bad boy, LeBron James, and Joel Embiid. That's all-NBA first team. That's uh, that's really nice. you love to see it. All-NBA second team, you got James Harden. Luka Doncic is on the all-NBA second team in only his second year. That's amazing. you love to see it. Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, and Carl Anthony Towns. That's that's a uh, huge career. Carl Anthony Towns as well, because this is only his like third season in the league. So yeah, uh, huge accomplishment. All NBA third team, you got Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul, DeMar DeRozan, uh Dont DeMontis Sabonis, and Christoph Porzingis. E fractured left leg is gonna be out for the rest of the playoffs. You hate to see it. And then all defensive first team, Paul George, uh, Victor Oladipo, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Andre Drummond. And then all defensive second team, you got Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, Draymond Green, Robert Covington, and Joel Embiid. And for all rookie first team, we have J- John Moran, Brandon Clark, Zion Williamson, Roy Hachimura, RJ, and RJ Barrett. And then for all rookie second team, we got Michael Porter Jr., Daniel Gafford, Darius Garling, Nicholas Claxton, Terrence Davis, and then yeah, that's your all NBA teams. And uh, so yeah, we're in the playoffs. Quite nervous, but I'm confident. We got the Orlando Magic for our first round opponents. I feel like they're not going to be a problem. But we can't take any team in this uh, playoffs lightly because anything can happen, honestly. Uh, but I just feel like this is a team that we should uh, sweep, honestly. But you never know it, 2K. But uh, I get with you guys in game one. All right, guys. So we are in game one of the NBA playoffs. So uh, let's see how we do against these Orlando Magics. And so right now... We're gonna set. We're gonna go fast. And oh my gosh, it's a nail biter. Whew. For a second, I thought we freaking lost. That I was about to say. Oh my god. And Kyle Kuzma actually stepped up big time. Twenty-eight points. Giannis had twenty-three points, fifteen rebounds, and nine assists. You love to see it. But let's go ahead and simulate to the next game. And uh, let's go ahead and simulate this bad boy. And uh, right now we're up by a lot. It seems like, yeah, we just literally blew them out in that game. And I figured we would because, I mean, this is a team that we should be, especially at home. I don't even think the first game should have been that close. But uh, let's check out game three. And it uh, looks like we're going to take that one as well with another big win. And so now let's get into this elimination game. And uh, this is game four. We're up 3-0. If we win this, we advance to the next round. If we lose, we play another game. And uh, and we win. So, with that being said, the Milwaukee Bulls have completely swept the Orlando Magic. And we are going to the second round of the NBA playoffs. And uh, Toronto beat Miami. Wow, they swept Miami. That was uh, that's very surprising. And you see... Uh, the Clippers picking up the sweep over the Utah Jazz. You hate to see it. But, uh, yeah, this next round is going to be tough. And I'm not going to take it as lightly as I took the first round. And uh, you see Boston and Brooklyn, that was a very hard-fought hard series. But the Kyrie Irving and KD pulled out the W. And I bet that was a very competitive series because, you know, the Boston Celtics, they got rid of Kyrie Irving or they let him go or whatever they had going on. 
and you know that was his former team. So I bet they were. I bet it was a. I think I think it was very competitive. It went to Game Seven. You hate to see it. I mean, one of them had to lose, and I feel like the better team won. And the Toronto Raptors and the Philadelphia 76ers will compete in the other brackets. And then you, the John Morant and his Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies got eliminated in the first round to the Denver Nuggets. And this is going to be an interesting uh, round between the Lakers and Luka Doncic's Mavericks. That's going to be fun to watch. Or We're not going to watch it, of course, but it's going to be fun to experience. Well, let's get into our, our series against these Brooklyn Nets. All of these rounds are going to be very tough because, I mean, whether we win, I'd rather Toronto come out of the, uh, uh, come out of that round because, I mean, I feel like we'd have more of a chance of beating Toronto than we would Philadelphia. And this round here on the West, that's going to be tough. But let's go ahead and get into our, uh, our rounds. We don't we aren't really worried about everybody else's too much. Let's see how we square off against the Brooklyn Nets. And, uh, yeah, right now we're trailing. We gained the lead again. It's tied. It's pretty much back and forth. Uh, shoot. It's close, dude. And this tied, and we're in overtime, apparently. And, uh, they're, yeah, they got the lead. It's, it's super close, guys. In overtime, oh, we win by literally a free throw. Who hit the free throw? Bro, that's a game that I had to watch. Giannis had a, a nearly a triple-double. But dang, what happened? I want to see who got the final point. Wow, that was crazy, dude. I want to see what happened. We got an injury. Oh, no, DeAndre Jordan does. What happened? Pat Patrick Beverly. Wow. That's crazy, dude. Patrick Beverly fouled Kyrie Irving out, I think. I'm pretty sure. And uh, he picked up the win. On the free throw, Patrick Beverly, man. What a freaking goat. <laughs> and that's crazy, dude. We were about to literally go into another overtime. But but you see my boy, Patrick Beverly, the the recently acquired point guard. He was like, no, no, no. Not going to a second. Are we not going down 0-1? Are we not going to the second round? That's crazy. And that was his first free throw of the night, dude. That's incredible. You love to see it. Way to way to put the team on your back right there, Patrick Beverly. Even though you only had eight points, eh, at least you got us the dub. <laughs> that was a very hard fought, a hard fought game. I'm just glad we picked up it at home because I would hate to battle them away. Uh, with that being said, let's uh get into our next game. And they are off to a hot start, but so are we. And coming into the fourth quarter, we have a ten point lead. And uh, it looks like we're going to take this one as well. But I don't want to call the shot yet. But, yeah, we really held them scoreless in the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, we went off 41 points. And they only had 18. And uh, uh, 40 points, 13 rebounds, 10 assists for the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Honestly, he's probably going to win finals MVP if he can stay healthy. Because, Jesus Christ, these injuries are out of this world, ferocious. But, yeah. Those are the main two games that I wanted to get out of our, our way. Now these are the games that we have to worry about. The ones where we are on the road and we're going against them and their house. Even if we could pick up one win at their house, I feel like that'd be really good. And, uh, yeah. So far, it's pretty close. They have the lead at the moment. Can we acquire it? Uh, they're, they're really they're staying ahead of us at the moment. And it looks like they're going to take this one from us in game three. So now we're up 2-1. They beat us by 10 points that game. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get it done in their house. Uh, oh, wow. We have a broken nose. But uh, unfortunately, we do have to see if he can play through it, honestly. Because I don't feel like going through and <laughs> making those adjustments. But, yeah. With uh, game four on the way, we're in their house. Let's see if we can pick up one in their home. And uh, this is super close. This has been a close series all series long. Hopefully, we can get this win. If we can get this win and then play in our house, I feel like we have the, the series locked up for sure. And we do end up winning that game, which is uh, fantastic. Um, and Middleton apparently had a career high in assists. He had 14 assists, but I only had eight points. Hey, but I ain't even going to complain. At least we got the win. Uh, Kuzma had 21 points, eight rebounds. 
and uh, Giannis had 16. That man is a monster. He His stat lines is just incredible. So that was a well-needed win. And uh, with that being said, I feel like we should win this one because we are home. And if we do win this one, we do advance to the conference finals. And I'm super excited. Uh, let's just see how it goes. I'm actually pretty nervous. And uh, so as we go into the fourth quarter, we one minute left. Are we going to get the lead? No. <sighs> So we lost in our home stadium. So I think that takes us to a game six. I think we're up 3-2. Oh, my gosh. Now we're in their home stadium again. We only were able to win in their home stadium once. Uh, let's see if we can get it done here. And so far, they're just completely they're destroying us. All right, the moment. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to come back. Uh, man, maybe make me mark my words, but yeah, we end up losing that one. And so now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a game seven. We're the only team remaining out of the series. Uh, my gosh, don't tell, did we, did we blow a three win lead? I don't think we were up three win. I pray to God we weren't up three win because <laughs> that's going to be so embarrassing. And and I kid you not, I got eliminated in the second round of my first season with the 76ers. So, if that's the case, then it's rigged. But, anyways, uh, Toronto actually ended up beating the Philly. So, if I feel like if we can beat the Brooklyn Nets in this game seven, uh, we shouldn't have a problem in the conference finals. And the Lakers and the Clippers came out of the West. So, that's going to be nice to see the battle of L.A. You know, that's going to be crazy. I really hope LeBron can get it done because I'm a huge LeBron fan. So I hope they can get it done. But the, the the main important thing is hopefully we can get it done because uh the series is tied three three. It's uh gonna be very epic. And um I don't know I don't know I might just play it, but I don't want to be that guy. You know I want to be fair. But hopefully we can just win. We do have the home court advantage. I just want to win, bro. Right now we are up. We're with five minutes left, we're up with by 10 points, barely. <laughs> with two minutes remaining, we are up by 10. All we got to do is hold the lead, guys, and we win. We are advancing to the conference, fi conference finals. Giannis Antetokounmpo basically carried us there. Kyle Kuzma is putting up a, a wonderful uh, playoff performance, too. We got to watch those fouls, Giannis. You got to be very careful on those because uh, we don't need you getting fouled out, big guy. So now you see your Milwaukee Bucks are going to face off against your Tor Toronto Raptors in the conference finals. It's going to be nice. It's going to be really nice to see. And then you got the Lakers and the Clippers in the conference finals on their end. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm super nervous. Hopefully we can win. We got the home court advantage for game one and two. But uh, they're looking like the home team at the moment as they've been leading the whole entire game. And it looks like they're going to win this one. And uh, that's going to suck because uh, if they went at home or at our house, that just, oh, uh, man. Well, they take game one. And uh, that's not good because we were the home team. I feel like that's really going to kill our momentum. We just have not been getting it done so far. And uh, that's something that we really want to work on. Hopefully, we can get game two at least. And, uh, wow, we're going to lose game two not good that's not good at all and uh oh wow screw me Giannis Antetokounmpo broken left ankle and he's out for the rest of the playoffs you have literally got to be kidding me bro that's oh my god this is um this is unbelievable honestly Oh my goodness. And then we have Dante. He's got a day to day injury. I just don't know. This is uh tough. I mean, honestly, we're in a we're in a situation where I don't think we'll be able to compete anymore in the playoffs cuz I mean, he's hurt. We got we have some injuries that are really killing us at the moment. And uh I don't know how we're going to perform, honestly. Because with the injuries, they're, they're, they keep setting us back and setting us back. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to come back. You know what I mean? Because we're down 0-2. The next two games are in their house in Toronto. <sighs> you just hate to see it. We got to give. I don't know, man. 
This this is the lineup that we got going on. I don't know how this is gonna work. Do I need to put Reggie Jackson in the starting lineup? He's been uh, he's been improving a lot throughout the few past games. And Dante still on that day to day injury, like I was saying. Shamit he's been hot. Hopefully he can uh perform off the bench. DJ Wilson he's improved throughout the season and Robin Lopez has been Robin Lopez. But, uh, yeah, that's our lineup at the moment. I don't really know what we are planning to do. Cause this is uh, this is tough, dude. It's tough. Let's, similar to our next game, we're in Toronto. Uh, dang, dude. You hate to see it. We're down 0-2. Their series is tied. Oh, my gosh. Let's just see what we can do here. Oh, at away, and we're doing honestly pretty good. And uh, we're up, but I don't want to jinx it. And we win. Okay, so we're still alive at the moment. I mean, we've been alive, but uh, we just sparked some life into the organization. Cal Kuzma had to step up big. I might give him some more minutes, honestly. I know Chris Middleton is uh, he's that guy, but I don't know. Kyle Kuzma has been fantastic. And I feel like he's somebody that we're not rewarding enough minutes to. He's been hot. We're going to feed the hot hand. Um, Patrick Beverly's been okay. Brooke Lopez is Brooke Lopez. We're going to take some of Dante's minutes down. We're going to give... We're going to feed. We're going to feed into the Kyle Kuzma hype. And uh, we're going to... Matter of fact, let's give... Let's give freaking Patrick Beverly some more minutes. That man is honestly deserved it. He's been... Uh, Good defensively, and um, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm honestly terrified. Uh, I'm curious. I'm just. I'm ready to see what we can do in their house. Uh, let's see how we do. Oof. So right now they're off to like nearly a 30 point lead. They went off in these first two quarters and they've been holding us off. Oh wow. <laughs> don't tell me we're gonna get eliminated. Oh my god. They're literally going off. Maybe I shouldn't have fed the hot end. Maybe we can come back. I don't think so. Yeah. They're just... They just completely dismantled us. They're playing like the better team. And uh, Dante has fully uh, healed from his injury. So we're going to uh, go ahead and give him some more minutes. It was a mistake given uh, what's called... I mean, let me just look at those stats. I don't think uh, what's called did bad. Honestly, I don't think Cal Kuzma did bad. We just, as a team, we did bad. What was the bout score for that last game? Uh, I think, yeah, this was the game. Cal Kuzma had 18 points. Danny Green had 16. I mean, it's not that the team isn't playing good. It's just that they're playing better. I mean, Serge Ibaka, Pascal Siakam, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, all putting up 20 points, and Mark Gasol. Like, come on, dude. It's not even fair. So now we have to pray that the Toronto Raptors can blow a 3-1 lead. And uh, hopefully we can pick up the win. The Lakers and the Clippers series are actually tied, um, tied so it's uh, pretty pretty intense. Hopefully we can tie the series, but I don't know. We're at home. That's, that definitely gives us, the, gives us the advantage. Apparently freaking not because uh, it seems to me like we're going to get eliminated in our own house. And uh, yeah. You hate to see it. Milwaukee Bucks eliminated first season. I mean, we made it to the conference finals. If Giannis Antetokounmpo wouldn't have got hurt, dude, that breaks my heart, literally. Like, I'm heartbroken. If if Giannis wouldn't have got hurt, we would have won that. We would have probably won the whole entire playoffs. I mean, and that's the suck, suck part. I mean, you hate to see it, but at least my boy LeBron got into the finals. Hopefully he can beat this freaking, freaking Raptors team. I mean... They don't deserve the the repeat. Oh, wow. Oh, I was about to say. Yes, yeah, sir. My boy LeBron got the championship, and he got the finals MVP. Well deserved, a.k.a. Washed King. He, that man averaged the double-double in the finals with 33 points. Let's go. That's my boy. I love to see it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if Giannis could have stayed healthy, if he wouldn't have got injured, we would have definitely won that we would have won that whole entire series. We would probably, it's just, it just sucks. You hate to see it, but on to year two. All right. And so this is our starting lineup for year two. You know, we still got basically the basics still here. 
And uh, this season, I'm going to try to go by a little quicker. And uh, just to see how I like it. And if you guys like to like for me to like speed it up like this as well, just let me know. And I definitely do that. Because, I mean, around now, it's probably we're about 40 minutes into the video. It's already about to be 40 minutes long. But yeah, the team's pretty much the same. We put uh, Patrick Beverly on the bench. We're going to start Dante because I feel like he's the way to go. But uh, I'll probably see you guys at All-Star break. And uh, if any trades happen to come by, I'll definitely let you guys know. All right, and so Giannis has been named an All-Star captain as long with uh, Team Stiff. And so let's say, uh, see how this goes around on round two. Uh, as a captain, oh, I don't even got the first pick. Oh, wow, this man picked James Harden with his first pick. You know, I got to go with the king, man. I mean, I'm a LeBron James fan to death. Uh, that might not have been the right move, but, you know, I got to go with LeBron. He's my he's my favorite character ever. And, uh, dang, that's a tough one. A lot of centers. Uh, there's only one guard. We're going to go with Cats. I feel like Cats has the most potential. He picked Joel Embiid. That was a nice pick, honestly. I kind of want to either want to go with Ben Simmons or, I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to go with Jimmy or Ben, and we're going to go with Ben Simmons, though, because I feel like he's the best one on, or, up on the board. And we get Jimmy Butler. I ain't, all right, bet. Uh, we're going to get Dam Damian Lillard. I mean, come on, bro. Are you be serious? Oh, yeah, you know I got to get my boy Luca. This is exactly how we picked him last time, too. Oh, my God. What the freak? <laughs> That's literally crazy. He picked Westbrook. Ooh. I might just go ahead and get Chris Middleton. I mean, no offense to Chris Walker. I just got to go with Chris Middleton. I mean, he is on my team. You know, it's only respectful. Ooh, Zion. That bit didn't even get Zion Williams. Come on now. You tripping, Steph. He put Andre Drummond. I'm going to go with the slam dunk king. Zach, I love him. Because why not? After I pick, Hopefully, they don't pick him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's still on the board. I got to pick Wow. DeMarcus Cousins is in the All-Star game. Or, like, he's an uh, All-Star. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I respect the grind, though. He really came back. Uh, I'm going to pick him. You know what I mean? We got DeMarcus Cousins. He probably won't play, but, hey. But, yeah, guys, this is our All-Star team. Let me know who you think won in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys And that, at the All-Star game. All right, let me just go over the, the rising All-Star stats. Nobody really cares too much about those. And, uh, you know, three-point contest, we're probably going to end up simula simulating that. And we have nobody in the dunk contest. And uh, let's go ahead and do this uh, all-star game real quick. But, yeah, at our record so far isn't that bad. But let's go ahead and see if we can. Oh, yeah. It was, it was close. Not even going to lie, but uh, it seems like we kind of got the upper hand. We got we definitely got the upper hand. Team Giannis once again wins. <laughs> let's go. Cat had 34 points. Wow. Maybe he was the right pick. Damian Lillard coming off the bench had 22 points. LeBron was up there. Dang, did Giannis even play? <laughs> Not playing. Chris Milton had seven points. You hate to say, hey, Boogie even had himself four points in that bit. You know, he out there showing uh, he 30 points for Steph Curry. So, Carl Anthony Towns won the Kobe Bryant uh, All-Star MVP award. And that's why. He, he earned it. He definitely earned it. But, yeah, guys, that is the All-Star game. Uh, see you guys at the end of the season. Oh, yeah, and right before we uh, simulate to the end of the season, I actually forgot that we do have to have a chance to resign Giannis Antetokounmpo. This will uh, definitely affect the team big time. Hopefully, he will resign with us. I mean, we expect him to sign with us. He will resign with us. And uh, let's see if he'll accept our contract offer. Though we're gonna try to offer him as much as possible, and uh, he accepts it, so that's great. See you guys at the end of the season. All right, and so as we get to the end of the season, we do finish with a record of 52 and 30, which uh, is gonna put us at the top of the East, if not the whole NBA. And you see Giannis winning MVP, Anthony Edwards with the Rookie of the Year award, and uh, let's see who has the. Anis Cantor has six man of the year. Oh, that's cool. Giannis won Defensive Player of the Year award as well. That congrats. Most improved John Morant. Wow, he he honestly is amazing. Frank Vogel. So yeah, uh, they were first in their conference and division. So I don't know how we didn't get uh, Coach of the Year, but hey, it's whatever. <laughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo MVP. No, uh, hang on, wait. Was Frank Vogel our coach? I'm, I might be tripping. I think he was our coach, but I don't even know. See, Giannis made all third uh, in all NBA team. I'm not gonna, you know, go through all the names like I did. I'm just gonna go through. Luka Doncic made all NBA second team. 
LeBron was on NBA second team. Uh, let's go. Yeah, this all NBA third team. Westbrook made it. Wow, Zion made it. Oh, this, a lot of surprising names. Not gonna lie. All defensive first team. Giannis. You see the man, the myth, the legend. Jimmy Butler up there. All rookie first team. We don't really care about all the rookies. Lamelo Ball was up there. Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman, R.J. Hampton. Uh, all rookie second team. Crap, my fault, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, all right. So now that we're in the playoffs, we are the number one seed in our uh, conference. I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and simulate round honestly, because I feel like the I feel like the Hornets are a team that we should definitely sweep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and simulate the round, and uh, we take game two in game three. Could we go for the sweep? Oh yeah, baby. Let's freaking go. We swept the Charlotte Hornets, and now we're going on to the next. And wow, the Grizzlies took the Lakers. Oh no, yeah, yeah, the no, the Thunder took the Lakers to a game seven, but the Grizzlies took the Nuggets, the Nuggets to the uh, game seven. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna simulate around see what we can get with the Wizards. I feel like this should be easy. I mean, they really don't have anybody, and we're showing that we are better than. Oh wow! Oh no, he's fully healed. By the way, you guys, I might just turn off injuries for the next for the remaining like for the rebuilds because they are honestly devastating they hurt your team a lot you believe it or not like if it was like if it wasn't for the injuries that we get like even we would have won it in year one uh in the conference finals we are gonna take game one over the atlanta hawks yeah so we take game one greek freak had 41 points apparently and so uh yeah game two and uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna win this one. Wow, 162! What amazing games from Giannis! Uh, if we do happen to make it to the finals, uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna make. Dang, the Dallas Mavericks are going against the Lakers in the fi uh, uh, conference finals. I didn't even see that. And uh, wow, we're blowing the bro. If we sweep the Hawks, that's gonna be crazy. We're gonna almost nearly have a perfect playoff season. Wow, the stat line by Giannis is incredible. The Clippers didn't even make the playoffs this season on the league. That's crazy, guy. And we're going to sweep the Atlanta Hawks. Wow. We literally swept every team so far. and Which, I mean, we really didn't have to play anybody up there until the end. And the uh, conference final. Wow, the Lakers lost. They lost to the seventh seed. Ooh. You got to hate it. So, yeah, we're playing them game one at our house. Hopefully, we can uh, catch the dub over them to secure. Hey, hopefully, we can stay undefeated and throw out the playoffs. That would be really nice. Like, imagine if we swept the whole entire, you know, basically the whole league. And we're going to take game one. So, we're up 1-0 against the Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic, and Chris Das Persingas. Persingas. Um, ooh, this is a close one. Ooh, that's a, oh, no. Oh, yeah, we definitely gained the advantage in that fourth quarter. And we're jumping out to a lead. And we're going to – well, we win game two. No, was that game two? Yeah, yeah, that was game two. And look at the stat line by Giannis. He is finals MVP guaranteed. All right, let's, hope, let's see if we can steal this one at home. If I feel like if we can do that, we're definitely going to win the series with a sweep. And it looks like we're going to – we're going to win. So we're up 3-0, guys. We only need one more game to become champions and win. Like, win, not, like basically beat the rebuild challenge, even though it wasn't much of a rebuild. I mean, it's the freaking books with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm talking all this smack like that was our last game. <sighs> it looks like we might just have to play an extra game. Because uh, they're, they're hanging in there. They've been leading basically the whole game, you might as well say. We have not got a league, not once, if I'm not mistaken. And Jesus, every quarter they've been leading us in, besides the fourth, I mean, besides the third one. And yeah, it just it's just not enough time left, I don't think, for us to come back. Uh, yeah, they they took game four, but that just means we get to beat them in our house. <laughs> That's gonna be nice. That's even nicer. Oh, dang, Kristaps and Luka had, oh, my gosh, nearly triple-doubles. That's crazy. And then Landry Shamit had 25. That's nice. Oh, no, was that? I don't even know. Let's just get into game five and see if we can um win this one. In the final minutes, if we are winning, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. If it, get, if it looks like it's a no-brainer win, I might just hop in. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm about to just hop in the game and just play the little last few seconds just so we can get the little cool animation for the championship because we finna be NBA champions, baby. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Yes, go. But, yeah, there you see it. There you have it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Giannis has finally won his NBA championship. If you guys enjoyed this series, let me know. You see Giannis hitting the unnecessary, the unnecessary buzzer beater three. But you see Kyle Kuzma, Landry Shaman, you see the guys that's been with us since day one out here celebrating a nearly perfect playoff. But, I mean, hey, it all paid off in the end. You see Giannis finally getting his NBA championship, and he, he deserves it, man. I mean, he, he's been playing lights out the whole playoff series. He, Hey, I personally feel like he should have won it last season, but, I mean, it's good. We, we made up for it this season. And if you guys like for me to do, like, quick little seasons like this just so the videos aren't as long, let me know because, I mean, it uh but yeah guys if you guys enjoyed it please hit that like button and stay tuned for another rebuild i forgot what team's next but uh hey guys thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked it hit that like button please and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to be notified every time i stream or upload a video this is jaybird gaming i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm out